hello everybody on uh, YouTube. Tonight's show on Ustream at 6 o'clock will be interesting because it's the first time people are going to watch it at 6 o'clock uh, without having to save it till later uh, because of various footballs on. Uh, we've got a few neighbours down here in Benbridge. There's a nice man with a broom 45 over there, which is... Uh, uh, again, named after my wife because she travels on a broom. Uh, Shep here next door is uh, his bilge alarm is going off. That's not in his boat. That's in his uh, tenor pants that he wears all the time. And I'm not surprised it's going off. If you look today, at the Guinness share price has gone through the roof. It's because of him. So let's have a look at the news today. I wanted a selfie with Chris Whitty for my mum. This is this idiot. Let me see what his name is. I mustn't really name him, I suppose, but the newspapers have named him. Um, Lewis Hughes and his friend Jonathan Chu. Uh, C-H-E-W. You can make your own jokes up about that. But this is the guy that grabbed Professor Chris Whitty round the neck as Chris Whitty walked through a park. But here's the thing. Okay, this is just hijinks. This is just people not being able to behave. I don't think that Chris Whitty was under any danger apart from being thoroughly peed off about the whole thing. You can see why the bloke's grabbing him round the neck. That's what over-exuberance and drink does to people who see someone famous. And Egypt, immediately, without asking or wanting to do anything, uh, they want a selfie. I want a selfie. I want a selfie. Give me a selfie. If you don't have a selfie with them, you're rude, horrible. So this is what I get. Oh, I'm your biggest fan. I love you. I think you're great. Can I have a selfie? Well, I'm just busy at the moment. Oh, who do you think you are? We pay your wages. So there's a lot of that. So shove your selfies up your asses, people. Okay, how's that? Uh, the other thing used to be autographs. I never quite knew why, why people wanted autographs. It's nice. Wouldn't it be nicer to go up to someone famous and say, hello? I'm a big fan, I don't want anything, I just want to tell you. I particularly liked a certain thing you did, and perhaps you'll get a little chat out of them then. I remember speaking to one of my favourite keyboard players called Patrick Moraz when he was appearing on stage with the Moody Blues, uh, and I, or I think he was playing with Jeff Lynne, and anyway, I was in the wings pissed, and when he came off, I staggered up, and I could see the horror on his Swiss face, and I said, Patrick, before I go any further, I'm Jim Davis, and you won't know me, but I know your music, and I immediately sung the first line to a song, and he went, oh, you know my music? I said, yeah, I, and, and we talked. We talked rather than me saying, you know, the normal thing, I've had this, can you sign me arm? It's not for me. So anyway, this guy, um, Jonathan Chew's mate, Jonathan Chu, uh, has said he only wanted a selfie, and if Chris Wheatley would have said go away, he would have done. I don't think so. But one must ask, this guy who's allegedly had a, a couple of drinks, who's an estate agent and suffers from ADHD, I don't know what that means, ADHD, it's something to do with... Uh, uh, overpricing houses or taking too much commission uh, but he's now been sacked because of his behaviour I'm sure that the tribunal will be looking at that soon and ADHD or whatever that is will be brought in to the, to the play and they'll say it was only hijinks and it looked as if to them that Professor Whitty was enjoying it but the underlying factor is is that people just don't know how to behave properly do they especially when they're pissed. We all do absolutely stupid things when we're pissed, me and You don't see any halo uh, flying over here. Now, let's have a little, uh, uh, and another thing, you know, when, when we did, I was talking to Shep the other day, we're both yacht masters, and, um, and, and we've both been trained in first aid, and we were talking about first aid last night, and the biggest problem we face as yacht masters is a thing called secondary drowning, where you drag someone out of the water, get them back to life again, sit them up, and they have a cup of tea, and suddenly they, they drown of secondary drowning. So there's lots and lots of things, but the biggest problem now, if you see someone collapse on the street, the first thing you've got to do is to push all the people who are taking selfies to one side. People taking selfies of, of car crashes. It's a bloody ridiculous. Uh, now, let's talk of the bloody ridiculous. And I see here today we've got a by-election today, so you'll be watching this at 6 o'clock. We don't know what's going to happen. I'll talk about this a little bit more later on. But let's work out the you Labour people uh, up north there in Batley. Brilliant place. Best fish and chips. Great clubs. Great people. Good cricket. Do you want the leader of the Labour Party uh, to be the, the former head of the Crown Prosecution Service, who's a brilliant man, like him or dislike him, he is brilliant, and uh, or Angela Rayner, uh, that ginger bird, uh, because she's got a northern accent and she's one of us, you know what I mean, Duke? Anyway, so, so let's have a little look. Uh, I hope the Conservative Party win, because I vote Conservative, uh, because that's, that's who I 
vote for. If I, if, if Labour did the things that I thought were best for the country, I'd vote for them as well. Don't you worry about that. So tune into you stream, and we'll have a good old blether later on. And I tell you what, as well, I don't normally advertise stuff on on YouTube about Sunday Night Lives. Brilliant show. This Sunday Night Live, due to pressure from everybody, and the fact that two of the guys have gone on holiday. I'm going to be showing on here the full, full Cinderella, okay? Not only I'll be showing the full Cinderella, I'll be making comments on it and I'll be giving like little, little notes. So I'll tell you how pissed Charlie Drake was not when we were doing that scene and all the lines he forgot because he, he normally remembered them when he was pissed. That night he was sober and forgot the lot. You couldn't make it up, but I'll be giving you all the secrets on Sunday Night Live, okay? And all you members of Ustream already, you're in for a treat. So see you there, folks, okay? See you on Ustream tonight at six o'clock and Sunday Night Live, right? Come on, bugger off.